My name is Olivier Taché and I am working at CEA Paris-Saclay Research Center in France. CEA is the French Research Institute on Energies. I will present you the synthesis of silica nanoparticles as reference materials and the comparison between our size measurement and electron microscopy measurement. As you certainly know, nanoparticles are increasingly incorporated in new consumer projects, for example in food for the glossy power, in instant coffee for the solubility, this avoid you to mix the coffee preparation, and in health care like sunscreen or toothpaste. However, nanoparticles may expose humans to sustainable risks. That's why the European Commission gives a definition of nanoparticles to classify as nano or not. This implies the notion of size range and number size distribution. That means also, nanoparticles must be characterized and characterization should provide particle size, size distribution, and concentration. The problem is that there is no reference technique for all nanomaterials. Each technique has their own limits, and it's now admitted that such characterization should only be achieved by a combination of techniques. This implies to compare the result between laboratories with national or international comparisons, or even techniques comparison. In all the cases, shared nanoparticle samples are needed to be measured on all the techniques. An example is given here with a study done in 2018 with my colleague Valérie Gertsen on a comparison between SACS and single particle ICPMS techniques. ICPMS is one of the most used analysis techniques in industry. These instruments work like a particle counter and need a concentration reference sample, which shows that by taking care of the ICPMS data analysis, it was possible to measure the size and the concentration of the particles and compare with SACS that don't need concentration reference. For this work, it was needed to choose shear sample, gold nanoparticle in that study, that can be measured on both techniques. This question of reference materials and characterization of nanoparticles is very important for Europe. And we take part of a consortium with major European Metrology Institute in a three-year project called NPSIZE and funded by the European Metrology Program for Innovation and Research. The objectives of this project are to improve metrological traceability chain of nanoparticle size measurement. This implies to work on establishing characterization protocols to work on data processing, in particular for microscopy techniques, and to develop reference nanoparticles, spherical, non-spherical, monodisperse, or controlled polydisperse, with different shape, wood, cube platelets, B pyramids, and different material types, gold, titania, silica. Here you have a more detailed view of all the material we produced during the project. Titania particles were produced by University of Torino in Italy. Gold bimodal particles were produced by LGC, United Kingdom, and others were produced by CEA in France. Gold cubes, gold walls, and silica particles. Some are in few quantities because difficult to produce, like cubic gold particles, and how to use as certified material. But for some, we produce enough to distribute in glass samples. On this presentation, I will focus on the silica spherical particle we produce in our laboratory. NP size 10 have a diameter size of 50 nanometers and a very low polydispersity. NP size 12 and NP size 13 are a mixture of 30 and 60 nanometers with the same batch of particles with two ratios 9 per 1 and 1 per 1. The particles were conditioned in glass ampoules in autumn 2019. The synthesis was made directly on the laboratory at Serra paris The first step consists of the synthesis of silica dioxide seeds by nucleation process. The second step consists on a long growth of the particles by injection of the reactants. The injection speed and concentration parameters are very important to obtain monodispersed particles. 
the particle's diameter goes to 70 nanometer to 50 nanometer in one day, and we can redo this process to obtain 100 partic nanometer particles. At each step of the synthesis, we can measure the suspension by size to determine size and concentration. Microscopy measurements were also carried to assure the sphericity of the particles. On a previous presentation, we explained the size principles and to how to determine diameter size and concentration of the particle. For the mixture production, we need to measure carefully the concentration of the batch. On this purpose, we use the protocol established on the lab for the sample preparation, acquisition, and software analysis. Here you have the two diagram of the primary batch. This will give us the proportion to use. And we can estimate the SAC signal of the mixture. And here you have the experimental signal of the mixture after mixture with the different ratio for the NP size is 15, 10 per 1 and for NP size 16, 1 per 1. We measure the stability of the sample regularly. For the NP size 10, very monodispersed silica particles, no variation were observed. We use this sample on many sacs instruments on laboratory and synchrotron bin line. For the NP size 12, 9 per 1 ratio, we had some fear of Oswald defect, meaning smallest particles could aggregate to the biggest or could disappear. But we didn't observe that. In blue, you have the estimated diameter distribution in numbers, and in orange, the volume weight distribution. That shows that we are two separated populations. For the NP size 13, 1 per 1 ratio, the determination from from the SAC signal is more challenging because the mixture signal is very near to a 17 spherical nanoparticles signal. Here the Monte Carlo approach is very necessary, but we still have two populations at egal concentration. The samples were also measured with microscopy techniques on most of European metrology laboratories partner of the NPSI project. The LNE in France, BAM in Germany, and CEA Grenoble in France. I will start with scanning electron microscopy results from our partner of LNE. LNE is a French metrology institute working on nanoparticles characterization. The experiments were achieved by Louis Cruzier, Alexandra Delvalle, and Nicolas Felton. They used the Platypus software developed by the Poland Metrology Company also partner of the NP size project. For the NP size 12, we can observe the two population of 30 and 50 and 16 nanometer of a ratio of 81% to 19%. For the NP size 13, we can observe the two population with a ratio of 41% and 59%. The scanning electron microscopy measurement were achieved at BAM in Germany by Christoph Lorenz and Dan Odorwaba. This shows the image and the estimated polydispersity for silica particle mixture NP size 12, NP size 13, 15, and 16. The determination of the polydispersity is challenging. The BAM developed a proper sample preparation protocol. Particles were also measured by our colleague from CEA at Grenoble on a high-resolution transmission electron microscopy instrument by François Saint-Antonin and Sébastien Artou. The image were also processed with the Pilatu software from Pollen Metrology. Here you have the NP size 10, the very monodispersed particle of 15 nanometers, and the NP size 12, two population of 30 nanometers and 50. 16 nanometer. The NP size 13 with a ratio 1 per 1 ratio. This screen presents a quick comparison of the results with the different microscopy techniques by the NP size project partners. 
the result are very near from the sex result and the desire and the desire ratio. Our work in progress now is to compare the data between all the institutes. I would like to thank all the people at Sierra Paris Saclay involved in the nanoparticle synthesis and analysis. This work has received support from the European Metrology Programme for Innovation and Research.